So because we are not in school together anymore, we would normally be doing our masterpiece together. But since we can't do it together, um, Miss Jennifer is going to record a video of her doing the lesson that we would have done in the classroom, which is so cool. So in your folders, when you go to pick up your packets this week, you will have um, a set of watercolor paints, and then you'll also have one piece of watercolor paper. Um, if you mess up, you can always flip it over and use the back. You also have a paper that looks like this that will show you the example of what it could look like or of what our inspiration is. And Hi guys, I missed seeing you in class. And if, I, if we came to class, this was the next lesson that we were gonna do. Um, the artist, this time, his name is Wasily Kandinsky. And this is what he's most famous for is drawing these circles. But what we're gonna talk about a little bit because there was sort of a, um, a method that he used to draw these circles and it was a way of teaching you guys about different kinds of colors. So the two main things we're gonna talk about is you have primary colors and secondary colors. The primary colors, and you guys all have one of these, you may already know this, but the primary colors, say it again, okay, the red, the yellow, and the blue, there's actually, I think, two different blues there's on this one. a dark blue and a light blue. Um, those are called primary colors, and those colors you can use to make other colors. Now, secondary colors are when you take your primary colors and you mix them together. So if you take your, red, like for example, your red and yellow primary colors and you mix those together, it makes orange. If you take blue and yellow and mix those together, you get green. If you take red and blue and mix those together, you get purple. So when you have you have your primary colors, and when you mix your primary colors together, you get secondary colors. The other two kinds of colors, you have warm colors, and your warm colors, and you can kind of think of this as like temperature, or think of things like fire that are hot. So your warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. And it kind of makes sense if you think of like fire or the sun or those are the kind of colors you use. You also have cool colors. Your cool colors are things you think of like maybe grass or water. So your cool colors are blue, green, and purple. So what this artist, this is this artist's, one of his most famous paintings, and it's called Concentric Circles. And he basically, it's just circles. He used these colors, and it's just circles within circles. And he would try to use these different colors. So what we're going to do, and it's nothing fancy, a lot of times he just took watercolors and sort of blobbed them on the page and it turned into these circles. What we're going to do is we're just going to make six different ones on your paper. And we're going to try to use different colors like here. These are all warm colors. Here, these are all cool colors. On, where did he do it? You can do one with just primary colors, you can do one with secondary colors, or like here he just took extras. These are blacks and browns. Here he mixed a little bit of everything. So you can do it like this, like you have on your paper, or you can make up whatever you want in your, in your different squares. So you have one of these pieces of paper. And you also need a pencil. 
You're probably going to need a pencil. You can do this whatever is easier because we're going to have six squares. So one way to do it is to fold your paper. You can fold it long ways like this. Yeah. And then you're going to have to fold each end one end this way and the other end this way and if you do that you're going to end up with six squares you can also just use a pencil and you can draw a line across and a line down if you'd rather do it that way you just end up with six squares now these are watercolor paints so and they all come with their own brush, but you're going to need um, a cup of water and you're going to also want to make sure you have like papers or newspapers or paper towels or something because otherwise it gets kind of messy. I do this, but you just, you're going to wet your brush because you need to mix a little bit of that water every time you pick a color to paint because that's what, that's what makes the paint work. Okay, we did some, we did a little bit just to show you. This is one that I did, and I picked the cool colors that we talked about. Two different shades of blue, and the purple and the green. And then, this is one that Miss Bly's little sister Scarlett did, and she picked some of the warmer colors, like the yellow, red, pink, and orange. So... You guys can fill in all the squares, and you can pick whatever colors you want. You can do primary colors, you can do secondary colors, you can do the warm colors or the cool colors, or you can just pick whatever designs that you want to do and fill in each of these squares. And then the next time you talk to Miss Bly, you can show her your finished picture, and then maybe she can take a picture and show them to me. Have fun, guys!